Hello everyone, and today I've got some more Euro 2024 match tags. These I actually got on the Tops website for £10 each. These are the Golden Glory packets. Now these packets are quite cool because you only get 10 cards in them, but every single card is special. You get the signature styles, you get the legends, you get the limited editions, and of course I will leave a link in the description down below to where you can get these yourself. But if you guys remember a few years back, Panini actually used to do the uh, the gold premium packets, I believe, and they were about 10 or each as well. You can get limited editions, you can get coin cards. I think you even got like a little small packet inside the other packets, which is quite weird. Now, I haven't actually done these by tops before. These are just come out as well. But remember, guys, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Let's check these out, see what's inside, and hopefully don't get any duplicates. And we are back with the five packets, guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys are finding this tournament so far. Of course, my team is England, and we are doing very mediocre. And I think the talk of the town now is Gareth Southgate has to go. And of course, this all happened last time until England got to the final against Italy. I just don't see it happening this time because we are playing very, very poorly. Uh, but we're not out yet, so let's hopefully get a little bit further than the knockout stages. But enough about the negatives, let's move on to the positives. And the positives are this card look absolutely... St now, enough about the negative, let's move on to the positives. Now, the positives are, is these cards look absolutely stunning. So first up, we've got Golden Glory, Theo Hernandez for France and AC Milan. Again, unfortunately, none of that French um, logos on there. However, it doesn't really matter because the cards are very pretty. These are made of plastic, um, but they're not that cheap Panini plastic. These actually feel quite nice and well made. They're quite thick, as you can see there. And on the back, we've got the position, nationality, date of birth, all the little stats and figures, which is quite cool, I think. And again, I've always been saying this since day dot, the way you can tell if a collection is premium is by looking at the back of the cards. And if there is loads of in-depth detail, then you can sign off the collection as premium and not normal. But um, move, let's move on to... Bastoni, so the Inter Milan and Italy centre back. He's quite young, I think. I think he's a couple of years older than me. Yeah, he is, so 99. And yeah, we've got squad number, position, appearances, and goals. Even got one goal. We got the trophy, and of course that was the um, Euro 2020 trophy against England. Uh, very hurtful tournament, just because you get all the way to the end, just to you know stumble and lose on penalties so these are the two golden glory cards let's move on to the um signature style limited editions we've got two of them we got iniesta and go on england rooney yes it is we've got wayne rooney signature style so these are the two promised signature styles let's see if we get anything else we've got a, a true graduated gem uh mark Uehi. that's cool um, actually been really playing really well for England, so fair plays to him. We've got a graduate gem purple variant of the Potnik. Willy Orban, hero for Hungary, Hungarian hero. We've got Henrix, Benjamin Henrix for Germany. Bezina for Italy. Um, for some reason, this card just looks really nice. It's just the Italian colours, you've got the polka dot. And we've got Maya, Lovra Maya, the challenger for Croatia. But yeah, these cards are very well made and they kind of deserve their own podium. So I'll leave them in the background. But now let's move on to the second packet of today's video. Again, we'll be giving all the codes away. I'm not sure if you guys still play the game, but if you do, the codes are there. And of course, we've got the main man, Cristiano Ciu Ronaldo for Portugal and, well, <laughs> shame to say it, uh, a Saudi Arabian team, Al Nasser. Got Golden Glory, Cristiano Ronaldo. Look at that. Just a nice, really nice looking card. Again, still no duplicates, which is good. And we've got Kevin De Bruyne, who is probably the next person from the, um, from the Premier League to go to Saudi Arabia. I think he's done an interview a few weeks back where he said, that he can move there and make some generational wealth. It's not like he's not minted as it is already. 
Um, but we got Mesut Ozil next up. Signature style. And Zinedine Zidane. We got Luka Modric, Ultimate. And we got some Rodri, purple variant of the Ultimate card as well. Golden goal scorers, Patrick Schick. Louisa Penn, the challenger again. Uh, Legend Love Fan Matthias and Calvin Phillips to finish off the second packet. Let's stick De Bruyne and Ronaldo on the podium as well. And move on to our third packet. I'll be very surprised um, to see Ronaldo in anywhere that's not Saudi Arabia now. I think he's a little bit past his prime. Um, unfortunately, we've got second Ronaldo, which I don't like because we got also a second De Bruyne. So these seem like they're seeded similarly, or sim sim similarly. And um, hopefully the rest of the cars are not duplicates either. I'll put them to the side just because we've seen them already. Nah, the... the ooh. There's a bit of damage in the corner. That's not cool. Got Chavi. At least the Ronaldo and De Bruyne are still fine. But we also got Ronaldo Ultimate and Purple Luka Modric. So I guess it's not too bad because if all the cards were um, exactly the same as the last packet, that would be a little bit, um, you know, a little bit wrong in my opinion because I think every single packet should be randomised completely. Um, or maybe they are, and maybe it's just, you know, a very rare occurrence where I got Ronaldo and De Bruyne again, so... Oh, that's nice, we've got Ricode, of course, and we've got Leroy Sane, so we've got a different packet this time. We've got Leroy Sane and Christian Eriksen. Yeah, these look really pretty, look at that. We've got Sane on the back. Focuses. We're not doing it, let's focus, there you go. We've got Sane. Christian Eriksen. Uh, we got Chiellini, the man that completely killed Sakai in the final, who should have got sent off but never did, where Italy ended up winning on penalties, as we discussed earlier. But again, the less of that, the better. We don't talk about it. We're talking about the current year. And the problem is... I just don't see it happening. So, unfortunately, I think we might have to wait until the uh, the next World Cup. So, yeah, I just don't have any trust in England. I still really enjoy going out and watching the games. I think half of the um, excitement is just meeting your friends for England games, for Spanish games, just, you know, any big games out there. And I'm not going to complain because I'm still having a really, really good time. You know, I've got... I've got a full four weeks or five weeks of football. I'm going on holiday soon, so I will be watching the European final on the day I get back. But finally, we've got Golden Glory Van Dyke and Hakan Chalanoglu. Again, very nice looking cards. Um, with that Hakan Chalanoglu being probably his last tournament, the guys. But you know what? That's not bad. What is he? 30, 30 years old. For some reason, I thought he was uh, much, much older than that. And he's been around for ages. I feel like he's um, maybe got one more after this. Got Virgil van Dijk, um, born in 91. He's been around for ages as well. Weird. Everyone I've been, you know, watching growing up are getting on a little bit. It's crazy. We've got Carvalho, legend. So another player I've watched growing up back at Chelsea. We got Zinedine Zidane, a little bit before my era. We got Adamu, Antonio Silva, Tadic, Hanley, Bakayoko, and Sama. So yeah, guys, let's do a quick recap. I'll see you in a second once I've got all the best cards out. Firstly, we'll have a look at all the signature styles, which we've got quite a few of. I think there might be a couple of duplicates, unfortunately, as well. But what can you do? Because you are getting so many of them. Like, look at that. We've got another Zizou. We've got Ozil. I pulled out Rodri just because I thought he was a cool card. Um, we've got the two Xavi and Van Persie, unfortunately, with damaged corners. We've got Ronaldo Ultimate. Again, I pulled him out just because it's Ronaldo. And we've got Shearer and Chiellini. And now we've got the special, the creme de la creme, Golden Glory cards. Um, the two per pack, ten in total. So we've got Sané, De Bruyne. Tio Hernandez, Christian Eriksen, Ronaldo, Bastoni, 
and then Dyke, Hakan Chalanoglu, and Ronaldo and De Bruyne again. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like because I did try to get these out as soon as possible. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I will be doing a full box break on the brand new tournament celebration box very soon. But for now, that's going to be it. See you in the next one and goodbye.